Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Galactic Craft Tutorial. As you can see we're rolling on the Mars. I was going to say on the moon then and I just ended up saying on the Mars. That didn't go out too well. Um, so we're driving down a cliff. Woohoo, look at us go. Let's actually see how versatile this thing is. So we need to be going up here. We're going to the dungeon today and I'm going to show you guys the boss and stuff like that. And we're going to kick ass and whatnot. Up we go, up we go. Look at it, look at it. It's oh, fucking amazing. Look, you can go up two high walls. It, it's just crazy. Probably be easier to jump this, but you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do it in style In our little car. So this is about three four hundred meters away So we're gonna see exactly how much fuel we've used doing this we can sort of then gauge like if we stop here Yeah, it's about 300 300 and we used a six percent of fuel so must use a 1% every 50 meters, which means you can travel 5,000 meters with the buggy before it will run out of fuel, which is pretty nifty. That's pretty cool. I think math works out there somehow. Yes, but today we're going to be going into this wonderful looking dungeon. As usual, it's quite easy to find on your map. It's a little bit of a dark hole just sat there. So go driving around until you find a dark hole. Um, and you're going to drop down into this. Uh, be careful. Look, there's Dash. That's how you find Dash. <laughs> um, but be careful because you do take full damage in Mars. I know I haven't got it on at the minute. Um, let's just go like... There you go. You see, we will take a bit of damage. Don't drop all the way down. Try and stagger it if you can. Um, but we're gonna try and fight our way through this. I don't know what setting this is on. Oh, it's set on easy. We're easily gonna do this. So obviously, like uh, the last dungeon that I showed you guys, this thing isn't easy. I mean, there's like things everywhere. There's creepers. There's a lot of creepers in this one, and you will see exactly why there are so many creepers. So we're gonna come through, and we're gonna try and break all of these as we go through. Because we don't like these spawners. Okay, these are taking absolutely forever to break. So we're just going to try and uh, speed run this. Whoop. We're going to get our asses kicked. We don't seem to be taking damage, which is good. <laughs> and worrying at the same time. No, no, we're taking damage. I take that back. I take that back. We got full armor. That dash armor is absolutely brilliant. So make sure, make sure you get yourself some of that dash. No. You're going to blow up on me. Blood blow up. Run. Run, run. Okay, so maybe you want to kill all these things if you're running through. Um, but for the sake of tutorial and the sake of quickness, I'm just going to sprint it. Nope, go away. Go away. This armor is beast. I'm loving this armor. Nope. Are you coming? Okay, right. I'm going to leave these guys here for a minute. I hope they'll sort themselves out. So this is the boss room. Um, let's just get rid of these guys. Let's just quickly get rid of them. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> let's just quickly do this. Because this is so much easier. Boop, boop, boop. Cool. They ain't following us now. Unless they can jump up really high. In that case, we're screwed. <laughs> but... There we go, we got rid of that, so we're only gonna go back to game mode uh, zero. And this boss is significantly harder than the last one. Bear that in mind when you go to do this, because I, I absolutely hated this one when I did it. I've only done one of them. Uh, but you have these things, you have this evolved creeper boss. The only way you can kill it, you cannot damage it directly, you have to fire TNT back at him. You have to try also not to get hit by it. And at the same time, try to not let him hit the creeper eggs. Because if he hits them creeper eggs um, with his TNT, they will blow up and spawn creepers in front of you. You literally just have to keep slingshotting this TNT back at him. And it will eventually kill him. I really hope I don't die doing this. Die. 
die. So it takes a little bit of practice, takes a little bit of skill, and this is the only way to kill him. As you can see, his heads are slowly going away every third life we take away, and the environment around will blow up. Just make sure he doesn't hit them creeper eggs because you do not want creepers blowing up behind you while you're trying to defeat this boss. He's hard enough as it is, uh, but it's a very interesting creeper battle, and I'm quite happy with what they've done with it. Definitely adds a completely new edge uh, to boss battles. Die. Die. As you can see, it does take a lot to kill this thing. And obviously, if you're like look, you're not having good armor like I do. Like, Desh. Desh is good armor. I didn't realize how amazing it was. And then he gets his protective shield thing. Or he just goes like hyper mode. I don't know what that thing does. As you can see, he's still taking the 6 damage he's been taking this entire time. I don't know what that thing there does. I think if you get close to him, you'll probably die or something. Um, whoa. But yeah, you do not want creepers blowing up behind you. If you've got tinkers on... Oh, fuck me, that was very close. There's a lot of creepers there. If you have tinkers on, you will get this thing called a miniature yellow heart. This is because oh, obviously it's a boss. You also get a... Fuck ton of XP, and I mean like a literal ton of it. You'll also get your tier 2 key. Fantastic. We love these things. We love the dungeon keys. Um, these creeper eggs, you cannot harvest them whatsoever. Um, if we go back to I, oh, you can't harvest it with a pickaxe. You can't harvest it with anything. If you have a way of moving blocks using like entity transporter, you can move them. I have one at my base. It's pretty cool. I might grab some more in the future. Um, but yeah, just after you've done all this come through the blowing up room which is inevitable and then you're going to come up to this thing cool uh you're going to come up to your tier 2 treasure chest use your key on it like a so open it up and you will find yourself a schematic well not all the time but you probably will find a schematic um like i said before these chests are not harvestable either uh they will remain there unless you get another matter transporter um, if you have practicalities, I just want to quickly show you the, this to you guys because it is nifty and it's very useful. Um, matter. Matter! Matter Transporter from Practicalities mod. Very simple thing to make. Nope, go away. It's like two ender pearls, a diamond shard, which is you get three of from one diamond, and a stick. And this will basically allow you to go like that. Shift click it, place it down. This is how I moved this and the creeper eggs to my base. Pretty nifty little things. Um, but yeah, so let's open our chest here. We got ourselves a tier 3 rocket schematic. The other one you can get is the automatic cargo rocket. Uh, so go around, discover dungeons, and try and get all your schematics, like I said before. And then we, in the next episode, we'll show you how to use all of them, etc, etc. Um, and you got stuff like... Whatever mods you've got, you'll get some random stuff in here. Like you got wheat. I've got some ender lily seeds from extra utilities. Got some forestry drone thing there. Some quartz, bit of steel from railcraft. Uh, mine factory reloaded. Blood magic. Ender io. Batania. You got all kinds of crazy stuff in this chest. Um, but yeah, it all depends on what mods you have, I guess. Um, but yeah, so you guys want to go around and you want to find all these dungeons and you want to try and get as many schematics as you can And then obviously the way out is the way back And you can also like once he's blown up you can literally just drop down here and get a shit ton of dash Like it's not that hard to find it um, See if we can find torches. No, we can't find torches But yeah, you can just like literally run around here and look there's dash. There's more dash uh, there's more down there, probably. I don't want to go down there. Let's just fly out of here quickly. Uh, but, yeah, so, yeah, don't just leave. You can drop under the floor. There tends to be normally be, like, a cave under there. And we're just going to run through here. And we're going to run all the way back out. Make sure you also bring a block to pillar up with. Actually, the creeper will blow up enough to give you enough blocks. So, we're just going to be like, boop, boop, boop. You can only jump, like, so high. I'm not going to fly out. I'm going to jump out to show you guys kind of what you want to do to get out of this thing you want to jump up like that and place like a block and then jump again once you start slowing down and hitting your peak heights just place a block like so 
you just aim down like that, you just, you'll eventually just keep going up, and then you'll get to this point where you can just naturally jump out pretty much. And then, ta-da, we're out. There's our swagging wagon. Swaggin wagon. I like the name of that. You shall forever be named the swaggin wagon. And then you just get in your swaggin wagon and off you go back to your little landing place, home base thing, wherever wherever you may be. And then you can drive yourselves back across the yonder. Ignoring all the creepers and monsters on the way. We're not going back down there because it was a little bit of a mission to get up. And it was very unnecessary. So we're just going to drive around. Like a soul, like a soul. And then I'm going to drive down this way. I'm going to drive back onto our landing pad. And we're going to get ourselves home. I'm going to show you guys in the very next episode how to make your cargo rocket, how you're going to make your uh, tier 3 rocket, what it's going to do. And then we're actually, no, the next episode is showing you guys the machines and all that cool stuff. So we didn't use that much fuel and we come back and it's just like fueled up instantaneously. It's freaking awesome, man. But yeah, so that is going to be it for today's episode. Do not land on the wheat. Fantastic. Cool. Uh, so that is, that's all. Uh, so go ahead and go find them dungeons. Good luck with the Creeper boss. It can be a bit of annoyance, a bit of a pain. Um, I'm really interested to see what they're going to bring with the mob bosses in the future, though, because they're slowly... Because obviously they're going to get a lot harder. There's going to be a lot more strategy to it. And once you get to, like, the very end, I'm just really anticipating... Anticipating, like, the final boss, how big it's going to be, how difficult it's going to be. You might even have to be, like, on a server with friends and get them to help you because it's going to be, like, insanely hard. I really want a really hard boss. Like, even that there, it's, like, different. Like, where you have the wither and it's basically you just attack him and try not to die. Uh, this one, like, you literally cannot harm him any other way than redirecting that TNT back to him. Which I think is a really, really nifty way and I wish more bosses were like that. Um... But yeah, like I said, that's going to be it for today's episode. I, I thought I heard a creeper then. <laughs> uh, but I didn't want to make it too long. Uh, like I said, I want to keep these videos short and sweet for you guys to watch. You can find the relevant information that you are looking for. And it makes you guys happy. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or need to, any information about the mod in hand, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Um, but that's going to be it for today's episode. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Like the video if you liked it. And be sure, be sure to subscribe for more content. See you when I see ya. Goodbye.